Ed Begley Jr. living in Studio City, California. My dad, as a very young man, won a Charlie Chaplin contest, and uh, that made him, gave him a taste of show business, if you will, made him want more. He didn't start to make it as an actor till he was in his 40s and became a wonderful actor, an Academy Award winning and Tony Award winning actor. My dad was involved with Catholic Actors Guild. He had a lot of Catholic friends and what have you, a lot of priests who were friends. Let the record show that the first uh, meeting of the St. Cyril's Parish Council, formed by our new pastor, Father Foster, to realize Vatican II's vision of a people's church by having the clergy and laity share the total responsibility of all the affairs of the parish. The meeting was called to order at... Uh, 822. Uh, 822, precisely. My dad was a big union man. He believed very strongly in the unions, the actors' union and other unions he was a part of as a worker, so he had that ethic. But he was also a conservative, you know. He had some things that might lead him away from being supportive of the unions, but he never budged on that important union issue that I know. Come on, come on, finish it, will you? Nobody's asking for literature. I got it, I got it, Johnny. Ah, and so was a call from the printers. We would do half an hour ago. Well, let him wait. Sure, sure, a time and a half. I said I got it. And it's poetry, friend, pure poetry. Uh-huh, another encyclical. Whenever you call it poetry, it comes out Catholic cap. Look, all I'm asking for is a lousy eight, ten-line editorial. With you, it's got to come out poetry or theology. I wanted to do what my father did. My dad was an actor, and so I wanted to be an actor. Had he been a plumber, I'd probably be fitting pipe now, you know. Father Kaiser was a creative force behind Insight, and it was always a good message in each episode. My dad said, hey, this Father Kaiser's looking for young people. You know, tell your agent to give him a call. Father Kaiser was a very amiable fellow, very nice man. I, I liked him right away. I came out to play basketball this year, pal. Well, is that what you play? I didn't come out to watch you shoot. Well, maybe if you watch a little closer, you might learn something. I scored 22 points in three quarters. Yeah, and we lost the game. One more like this, and we're out of the playoffs. It was shoot, shoot, shoot. Did you pass the ball once? Yeah, I think I did once. Oh, yeah. That was the one that went in the crowd. But I remembered King of the Penny Arcade. I certainly qualified to play a party guy. From 71 through 78, I was uh, the go-to guy for a party. Better than booze, man. Doesn't mess with your body so much. <clears throat> That's a nice cough. Next time, try to hold it in longer. <clears throat> it was always guilty around Father Kaiser. Is he going to see that I'm hung over this morning? Is he going to see that I'm in quite a state whenever I was doing my preparation for the part? But Father Kaiser was a very kind and positive fellow. And never judgmental at all. The Clearinghouse. The dialogue was very familiar to me. To see myself playing a priest, that all the memories came flooding back in the lines where I could learn, the, I could relearn those lines in a short period of time. It was very interesting. Does that mean we have to take money from a woman who's a, a little mixed up? Who's a streetwalker? Must you always label people? Uh-oh. Uh there goes another galaxy. You know what your problem is? Yeah, bad reflexes. You have got a selective view of reality. As far as you are concerned, everyone is as pure as the driven snow. I don't like making judgments. Huh, excuse me? I thought that was your job. You're a priest. I don't feel qualified to condemn people. It's not a question of condemning people. Somebody has to take a stand. <laughs> Buddy, you take plenty for both of us, okay? I wanted to do it because I wanted to do any job. I wanted to do any job I could get as an actor, and I also needed the money. I think I had heard that it was an option that you could hand the check back because they were on a shoestring budget, needed to save every dollar. Father Kaiser made it clear that they needed to pay you because of the union, because of after, and they would give you the check and it would sometimes be kind of like this. Well, thank you, Father. I'm kind of, money's a little tight right now. I kind of, I'm sorry, uh, forgive me, but I think I've got to, I got to pay my rent. I'm sorry. 